So today's video is going to be about Manic Panic in the color Psychedelic Sunset. I have my swatches labeled 1 through 12, but if that is not obvious, that is not synonymous with hair levels. For number one, I have a bluish gray. I want to see if the orange can cover the blue since it's not super dark. Number two is a purple, three is a natural red, four is black, and then from four to 11, we have a range that goes to platinum blonde. And the number 12 is a toned version of number 11. What I like to do is I will take the dye directly from the container and I'll put it at the top of each swatch. And then I will dilute the dye on the bottom piece of each swatch. Also, very quickly, I do just want to say I can't guarantee that how this dye turns out on my swatches is how it will turn out on your hair. Everyone's hair is different, which means everyone's hair will take dye differently. It's always best to do as much research, especially when you are dyeing your hair yourself. For the ends, I'm going to do a mixture of a fourth of a teaspoon of dye to a teaspoon of diluter. And in case you are wondering, first of all, no, you do not have to dilute semi-permanent dyes. Diluting essentially just lightens the dye. And secondly, I always use a white conditioner when I dilute. So I'm going to let these sit for about three hours. I will rinse them out and when they're dry, I'll meet you back here. Generally speaking, to me this dye does seem like it's pretty pigmented. I do see a difference on five and onward. While number five might not be super, super noticeable, um, I think if you had, you know, brown hair and you dyed it with this, you'd still see something, even if it's just in natural lighting. It kind of warms the hair up. And even on the diluted sections, I would say seven and onward look pretty good. I do see a difference on the diluted section for number six as well, but it's not as noticeable as it is on number seven. The orange even did a little bit on number two, which was a deep purple. It almost looks kind of, I don't know, burgundy now. And then number one was the grayish blue color. The orange covered that as well, but because of the blue, I assume it looks a little bit more muted and not quite as bright as the blonde ones. I could be wrong, but I don't think I've done too many oranges thus far. So my first comparison will be with Arctic Fox in the color Sunset Orange. This is comparable to number 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and 7. So to me, on the direct dye portion, they do look pretty similar, but as they are diluted down the strand, you can actually start to see an undertone difference. The Psychedelic Sunset from Manic Panic has definitely more of like a yellow tone to it, 
Whereas the Sunset Orange, it kind of stays a bit orangey as you dilute it, and I don't know if that means it has a maybe a little bit more red. And this is comparable to number three. So these two don't look too entirely different, but I would say that the Sunset Orange from Arctic Fox does look a hair more red in comparison. This is comparable to number six. So I know that these two, it's probably kind of hard to tell on camera, but in person they both pull a lot more red looking. And actually I think number seven and nine, they kind of look uh, pretty red as well. The other color I'd like to compare is from Punky Color in the color Flame. Now this one has a little bit more of a yellowy undertone, but it's not quite as deep as Psychedelic Sunset. So this is comparable to number 12. 11, 10, and 9. Because the punky color is a lighter dye, once you get past the 7 swatch and you go darker, you start to lose that orangey look. The dye still adds a warmth to the hair, but it's not quite as orange. And like I already said, this dye definitely has a lot more yellow in it. Even if we compare the direct dye to the diluted part. I mean, they're not too far off, but... Um, in person, I think Punky Color has a hair bit more yellow. This is comparable to number three. I hope my camera is picking up on the differences, but... The Psychedelic Sunset on number three definitely made it look much, much, much more red. I feel like the Punky Color one almost looks much closer to the original swatch before it was dyed. I'm assuming it probably did add a little bit of warmth to the hair though still. I almost feel like the Psychedelic Sunset is a mix between this Punky Color one and the Arctic Fox Sunset Orange. Now that we've done the comparisons, let's get into the close-ups.
I really hope this video helped. If you have a request, feel free to comment down below or I do have a link in the description for a Google form you can fill out. Just remember, I only do dyes that do not test on animals. Thank you so very much for watching and thank you to my patrons and I hope to see you in the next video.